<laughs> nice. What's up, everybody? Hi, wave? internet. We're Locking here. Wait, how do I go? What's up? We need to make this a green screen here. So that we can well, get... yeah, but that's like ten feet. I've I wanted I wanted to put something cool on the wall there, but then I'd have to get a crane in here and like do all this. Yeah, we are in like the sixty-third story. Yeah, yeah, we're out here and. Uh... Welcome back to another episode of Demo Roulette. This time, with memes. <laughs> Oh! Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're going to get a green screen, uh, but then the audio would be fine forever. Oh, man. Oh, I should have, I should have, uh, I should have blacked out Doge. Mm. Oh, I'll do that next time. It's okay. What's up, everybody? We're <laughs> out here 60 failing. With your so, so if we open up your project and it's super dope, you get these two. We're like, yeah. And if it's a fail, you get something like this. <laughs> it's, not, it's just not <laughs> easy. Either. Oh, that's one of my favorites. If it's almost good and you still fail, that's, that's the dunk. First part. time seeing IO not smoking. Oh, guys, I don't even smoke. I, just I, I wasn't going to put you on blast <laughs> like that, but I mean, I, just I vape. guess. Yeah. I don't vape either. He actually doesn't even vape. I don't even. I just smoke hookah on stage. But they don't let you bring those, so. Anyway. Um, all right. Well, so normally at the beginning of Demo Roulette, I do some questions at the beginning. Question them or me or the. No, like just Q&A. From, oh, okay, from yeah. the chat so chat if you want to ask some questions before we get into it um someone on uh discord jared hibbard <laughs> is that what a jewel is called because that is <laughs> i'm just gonna hit this oh man it's just me here <laughs> um okay so someone on discord and by the way if you guys aren't in the discord i feel like most of you are who are in uh, the stream right now but if you're not there's a link below to the discord so you can go get involved in the demo roulette chat jared hibbard said what's your thoughts on fab filter and isotope plugins they find a their way into majority of your projects yes um i use fab filter pro q3 literally on pretty much every single channel i use pro r the reverb literally all the time it's like my new favorite reverb. Uh, I use the isotope stuff for mastering a lot. Um, Plague Punch said, does FL Studio Wave Stems added into an Ableton project work uh, for a uh, submission to Demo Roulette? Yeah, I guess. I would rather it be an Ableton project so I can actually see what you're doing like MIDI wise and mixing and stuff. But like if you don't work in Ableton and you really wanna be a part of it, I, I I understand that. I get it. Um so yeah. Um do I have any new music out soon? The Wise and the Wicked was unreal. I've put out like eight songs this year and I just put out a brand new single called Get to Me, which you should go. Yeah, but when are you to. gonna put out an album? We have an EP coming out <laughs> with the tour. The tour is called Dangerous Waters really and the EP to that is album. shut up. <laughs> and the EP is can I just plug myself real quick? Yes. Um yeah, no, we have an EP coming out real soon. We have lots of sick music on it. Uh, here's one for, for Garrett. Where do you get your visuals from? Um, I code them with... Actual, no, we, they're, they're made on After Effects. We have, I make some of them. Holio makes some of them. Some of them are like some stock footage. They're from all over the place. He's lying. He hasn't made anything in his life. I've literally never made anything in my life. Ironically, actually... I think, do you still make all of your own artwork on Photoshop? All the, like, still work? Yeah, everything is yeah. mine. Um, except for the Grimes record. That was some other artwork. That yeah. Speaking of which, Papa, Papa Blick said, how was it to work with Grimes? It was interesting. I never worked with a pop act before, so it was, like, a whole different type of approach on um, 
mostly on marketing. The music all came together really quickly all on the same day, but the after that was when it became much more different than what I'm used to. A lot more. Uh, cool. Can you shut up now? Yeah, it's cool. So more about that album that you're not. Yeah, more about me. Okay. This is all about me. Um, what's a good drum kit? How do you learn to make drums? I use samples for everything. Just find good sounding samples. Find good sounding fill samples. I feel like Garrett feels the same way. It's all about just having good samples. You can find them literally anywhere on the internet. It's really not that big. And it's funny when you find deal. stuff that you don't that no one else will find. So that's like kind of the the, the caveat of using samples of stuff that no one's heard before. Yep. Uh, any chance either of us will be doing shows in San Diego soon? Uh, I was just down there for TwitchCon. I did a Discord party. Shout out Discord. Uh, I don't. I don't think I have any plans to come to San Diego soon, although I love San Diego. I just did LED down there not that long ago. What about you? Uh, I think next winter in this summer. We have a whole, um, there'll be a tour coming out. That was loud. A tour coming out, so I think San Diego will be on there. Um, LED always treats us really well, so we'll be down there for sure. Yeah. So is Io on the Dangerous Waters tour? No, he's too cool for us. He's, he's too techno. Yeah, I just... What? What? Are we getting off? <laughs> yeah, no, we're not going on that because we're. I don't fuck with Jaws. <laughs> Can we not curse on here? I don't think we're supposed to swear. Uh, I really don't. With Jaws. Wait, where did all my samples go? Yo, I had Yoltron on with me last week, and we had literally this whole thing set up as a drum pad. <laughs> Oh, they're there. <laughs> yeah, so chat roulette, or, de wow. Yeah, so demo roulette is basically, I'm just gonna play all these memes <laughs> at the same time. That, you can't put that thing on the whole time. <laughs> Shout out 100 bits, Gibbs and Parker. <laughs> Chat roulette. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Whose demo is this? This is my demo. This is that new. If you guys, if you guys weren't here last week, I made all of these beautiful sounds with my mouth. Um... How was your transition from Fox to IO? Oh, people always want to know that. Uh, I have a great answer to this question. So, uh, Garrett and I were driving back from Las Vegas. It wasn't for EDC, right? Escape. We were driving back from... We were driving back from something. show at one of the residencies you had to a festival. In San yeah. Diego. I don't remember which yeah. one. Yeah, and Garrett was still Fox, and he... he showed me the whole idea for io and it was originally going to be a project under fox and i basically told him that he was an idiot and he should just get rid of fox and that yeah. he should just make io its own thing because yeah. it was a cool idea and the music was so different yeah and he didn't listen to me right for like what eight months for like two years yeah something like that <laughs> and then finally all of a sudden he 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 figured it out so i don't want to say that i'm the reason that io exists but like I mean, you. It was even past that because it was like you were writing your album, and we were yeah. in the studio. And I had just finished a couple of records that had been signed to a label, and then they got dropped. And then I was like, "Fuck," or, and uh, that's when you were like, "Okay, it's time." And I was like, "Yeah, maybe it's time." So that's yeah. You, you could say you were dually responsible, not only for percolating the idea, but also pushing yeah. it into existence. And then also had a couple friends who... Um, this mic stand is so <laughs> broken. <man. laughs> but had a couple friends who were like supportive in a different way too, so it was able to get... Oh, James is in the chat! Is that Mr. James? Say what's up to Funk Case, chat! Wow, you two are gorgeous. That's what he'd sound like if he said himself. Hi, boys. Hi, boys. Is this racist? Yeah, hi, boys. <laughs> racist? <laughs> racist? <laughs> James, we miss you. We've been playing games all day. We haven't had you here. Yeah, James, we were just playing Overwatch. Where were you at? Yeah, you're playing Rocket League. That's not even a yeah. real game. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's nerd. nerd. Yeah. Um, 
Literally turning on Overwatch now. Cool, great. Yeah, well. It's, well, it's we're in the middle Overwatch of streaming, now. James, so that's going to be kind of difficult. Um, all right. So you look gorgeous. we we might as well get into this now. I don't think Garrett's ever seen Demo Roulette. Um, right, right. And if there's any of you guys that are new to this, the general concept is that um, let's go let's go over here. So oh, that's a cool transition. It's a great transition. Oh, right? Do you guys see that? So uh, go back. You want to go back? You guys want to see this again? Oh, oh, oh. oh, it broke that time. Oh my gosh, that's pretty sick. Anyway, so. that's really weird that it that it like breaks on that one. You guys, see, what the what's heck? The best audience you've played in front of? My mom. I was gonna say my mom. <laughs> I was gonna say your mom. Uh, Actually, Lisa is a wonderful lady. Wait, hold on. What's going on in chat right now? Plenty. Everyone's. Are you ever comments. coming to Western Canada? I'm doing Canada on DPMO tour next week, starting. Yo, James, when you're in LA, you have to come do demo roulette with me on a Monday, okay? Magic City on a Monday. That's actually what we're calling this now. Chat roulette. <laughs> chat roulette. Uh, all right, so. We have all these demos, right? These are all submissions from you guys, Ableton Projects. We have a total of 62 of them now, which is like 10 more than last week. That's pretty cool. And I have this handy dandy number generator right here, and we're just gonna click it a bunch of times, and we're going to, uh, uh, we're gonna go work on some random projects. We're gonna, yeah, and by the way, if people who have been on Demo Roulette before are watching, I know I haven't sent back any of the projects. I've been in the middle of trying to finish this EP. And every time I do Demo Roulette, I'm like, yeah, the next day I'm just going to pack up all the projects and send them back to the kids. And I keep forgetting, so I'm really sorry, but I haven't forgotten about any of you. And you're all going to get your projects this week. I promise. I love you all very much. You're all my favorite, son. Shut up. Okay. You don't even know them. I you okay. don't know their lives. Okay, so here's my new idea, is that we do demo roulette, we work on their projects, and they do chat roulette and talk to one of them <laughs> in person, and hopefully they don't... In person? Like, oh, what, we invite them to, like, a hotel no, 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 room, no, no. and it gets really sketchy? That's... That's... You're weird, man. <laughs> I was almost going to say something. That's um, lawsuit roulette. That's a different game that we're going to play. <laughs> that, that's what I think about. <laughs> That's what I think about that idea. It sounds like a slam dunk. Oh god! It sounds like a slam dunk. Okay. All right. Cool. So let's listen to a project. Yeah. So okay. wait. So we listen to a project and then we work on that project. Yeah. So it's like so it's just gonna be taking everything out except for the kick. Well, if but I'm doing it, you're gonna help me do it. We're All not right. turning it into an IO song. It's like pretend like you're collabing with this person. Okay. You know what I mean? So just ignore their text. Ignore the what? <laughs> Clapping with this person. Ignore their. Text. Oh, ignore their text. Yeah. yeah. Wow, James with the with the font case meme in my a, chat. You have your own emoji. Get out of here, man. God, you're such a narcissist. I O lures kids into the hotel <laughs> room. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. The dunk <laughs> and the yachty, yachty dunking. Oh wait, we can't see yachty because of the dunk. Oh man, <laughs> I think the Yachty one is my favorite. It's good because it looks it looks perfect, and then oh, <laughs> we still get some uh, of it. Oh, <laughs> um, oh man, just okay. Add a so Camara, Melly, oh, ice cold now. That's all like right, two tracks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is that is pretty cold. Jeez, Lord, fire. Oh, I know exactly. Yeah. All right. <gasps> oh wait. Wait, and now I'm gonna click the button while they dance, and the cash drops. And once Yachty falls one more time, we're gonna be done. Twenty-two. It's my favorite. I feel like we've done twenty-two. I need to figure out a way to mark these. Like highlight them. Flick X locked. Or maybe I, maybe I, I delete them. All of them. No, I, I feel like Flick X Locked was a project that I landed on, and 
the guy wasn't in chat, so I moved across it, but I can't remember. Are you here? Flick X locked? Yeah, if, Flick's, if, if Flick X locked is in the chat right now, then I'll go through their project, or if they're also in the chat, then they'll remember that I already went through their project, and they'll be like, hey, stupid, you already went through my project, and then we can get on with their lives, and I'm going to give them... I worked on it. See? Someone in chat. The demon. Oh. The VS demon? Thieves demon? The verse demon? I don't, I don't really care, but thank you either way. They so, have submissions. Let's I, do it again. I'm late to every single one of these chats. In case you don't doubt it, I got you. One more time. Third time he falls is the charm. 22. Oh my god. What is happening? We're gonna work on your project. Alright. Four. Four? I feel like I've done four also. This is I the think, worst number. I generator. think four is birthday party. Uh no. Four is O W V O V O. That's a Discord username? I mean Is it an owl? Is this should we just do it? Yeah. Is this Drake? Lures me into a hotel room, but at least I get free merch. What? I'm not luring anyone to a hotel. I'm not doing this. Never let me go. Project. I don't think it's like lure either. Have That's... I have I already worked on this? Oh wait, I can't keep the meme, meme button here. Never. Let give it let to me. me. Give me the meme button. I want responsibility. Project. Does it go this far? You bring it over. Uh, we can put it on top of the uh, Ableton push. And then I'll just turn off the push. All right, cool. Oh, God, it feels good. This is what power feels like. So you're basically VJing for me now. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, it looks like we haven't done this one. So Never let me go. Happen. Uh, How long does it take to download? Like two seconds. Because you have that new, new internet. It's not even that good. Really? Yeah, it's only 100 up, 100 down, which is, I mean, it's good, but it's like, there's gigabit all over Los Angeles. I just don't happen to have gigabit in my place. Uh, it's better than fucking touring Asia. <laughs> 200 gigabytes a You would think year. that in Asian countries, because I know that the internet standard in those countries is way higher than in the States. Yeah, but you're running like T-Mobile and shit. You're like, okay. Yeah, but like, like... In general, like if you look at like the averages of uh, internet speeds, uh, like uh, per capita, Asia and Europe have way faster internet speeds oh than God, the states. Touring Europe is like, are you? But then you go to the hotel rooms and it's like you get two megs a second. Yeah, it's like I can't even download anything. You can barely watch Ableton or yeah. Netflix. You can barely chat chat roulette. Yeah, can like, barely chat roulette. Definitely, all... definitely can't play Overwatch. All the, it's like it forces you to work on music. Lame. Yeah, I never want to do that. I just go to the bar. Yeah, you don't have gigabit, but you have fiber optic. Fiber optic is like the same thing as gigabit. It's just as good. More or less. Wait, uh, are you in the UK, Funty? You, you, you know he lives there, right? I thought he lived here now. He's here all the time. I know. I mean, he tours here more than he's. I've, I've, I've tried to convince James to move here so many times, and it's finally gonna happen eventually. He has to get one of them visas, then, doesn't he? He has to get one of them visas. Oh man, my my British accent's way worse when I have this on. Oh, you also sound like you're like. Well, Why are we way louder when this is on? I can hear it now, and this. But like, I'm not that loud. And now I sound incredible. Let's let's just take that reverb down, you know, just super dry. It's so definitely way way louder, and I sound way sexier. Uh, we got a question. Uh, Io, what are your thoughts on the guy that is against DJs that promote dark stuff? I think he's pretty and cool. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, it's like a whole dubstep thing. It's like it's like Wooks versus rhythm DJs that are essentially like Wooks. It's like Posse vibes versus like. It was just like one one like 
Colorado DJ kid was like, shout out to all the DJs that don't have to promote satanic rituals and blah, blah, blah to have careers. As if the reason that Sudden Death and all these guys have careers is just because he has some satanic like imagery and not because his music is actually incredibly sick. Yeah, there's you like, know? there's like a... I don't know. Misconception that branding is everything. Branding is important, but it's not Yeah, everything. I think I think branding I mean, dude, <laughs> you're not a real shark. So like Yeah. Yeah, shout out to all the DJs that don't have to be an animal. Yeah, shout out to, to all the DJs to who, have success. Shout out to all the animals that don't have to be DJs to be successful. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into this project. So it's 125 BPM. Oh, it looks like everything is frozen enough, except for these two things that are just audio, which is totally fine. Uh, project's pretty well organized. Uh, TBH. Mm, let's listen to this nonsense. Got a um, drop. Oh my god, it's fucking wow. Or, I, I'm sorry, I'm not. I shouldn't be on this. Yeah. Holy nuts. Um, yeah. I mean, it's all like he has the whole structure like written out. Intro build drop build two drop two break build drop three. There's no thing for outro, so obviously the first thing I have to do is say outro. And, Extended mix, and we're done. All right, cool, great track, and yeah. moving on. Sorry for clapping again. Great success. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, let's take a listen. Yours might be super loud. You might have to dial yourself in. All right, I'm going to do this just... until you figure it out. Oh, wait. Let's see what's on the master. Uh, a whole no. bunch of stuff, but he turned it off. Nice. Whoa, this is crazy. A high, mid, low. Uh, that's that's too much. That's a whole bunch of... I mean, I multiband on mine. Yeah, but this is like just soloing each channel. Oh, yeah, no, I mean? he's saturating. I see. He's saturating mids. Yeah. Only that's all he's doing. He's not even compressing. Uh huh. Yeah. Which but I that's... mean, I guess, I guess if you're running Ableton stock, that's the way to do it. But I feel like there's better ways to do that. Yeah. Also, why would you saturate the mids? Why wouldn't you saturate the mids and the highs? Because you're adding harmonics to the mids, which you're gonna end up. Yeah. And also, that's all just stuff right. you can do in the mix. Honestly. Yeah. But maybe uh, he's trying to like fix some stuff before he. Yeah. Well, let's find out. That's not that bad. By the way, chat, if it's if the music's too quiet, just let me know so I can try to turn it up, even though I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Barely hear it. All right, cool. Great. Sick. Um, so Let's turn the master on. I'll, I'll just put, I'll just put, uh, utility. And this is the anti-mix. A limiter. Holy crap. This is just a white mix, though. Is that better? First thing, this thing's got to go. I never, I never want to, I, I know it's never let me go, but I'm letting go of this. Damn, that was deep. Right, though? Yeah, I think, at least I, during the build, it was kind of it droned. I, I just don't think that it fit musically. Like, when I heard it at first with the vocal, I, I could tell that, like, 
they're they're definitely not in the in the same teeth for sure oh yeah i mean you can see it right here so it this like is a stanza. this is a huge misconception that b minor and b can be used together um if a sample says b on it then nine times out of ten that means it's b major and if you see on this one i guess that's not zooming in the text but it says b minor bm and just because they're the same letter doesn't mean they're going to work together b major and b minor actually do not work together at all they actually work horribly together um let me let me pop open uh mixed in key to kind of illustrate this so you just asked punk case to make a house track could you imagine the uproar uh he has made one he's made multiple actually and they're all really good okay anyways um so 10a this is the camelot wheel okay uh on mixed in key um all of these numeric representations are of actual keys like like that you write music in right and uh this is what i use to find out all the songs of mine and other people's what key they're in because um when you're mixing in a set you want to go from like 4a to 5a or 4a to 3a so on and so forth to make sure that the mixes sound good together it's all about relative keys um the rule of fifth or the circle of fifths which is what the camelot wheel is i'm not going to go into too much detail about it um but right here 10a is b minor right and so whatever 10b is is the corresponding major key that would work with B minor. And it's not B major, it's D major. D as in dog. Um, so yeah, long story short, B major, B minor, not gonna work together. So this little dinghy, I mean, technically we could pitch this to D major if we really wanted to. What would that be? Uh, D major from D minor? No, from B. D to B. Three. So, five. Well, C, C sharp. Call me on five. D. Three? It's three. Okay. That sounds even worse. Third down three. I'm just going to turn it off because we don't need it. I like that as an intro better, anyways. Yeah, it sounds like MK vibes. Um, I saw someone in chat say something about the super, super pan snare. Yeah, this auto pan needs to come down to like 30%. Yeah, that's much better. It's really freaking me out that everything is lagging so hard. Like I'm, I'm hearing a kick when a clap is playing. You see that? Is that the clap? Oh, it's exactly half bar lag. But it might be just because of the. It might be because we're streaming. And it's running through the. We're hearing out for this. Thing. Yeah, because the stream and the the volume on the stream is matching. I feel like this would be cooler if the release wasn't, or the sustain wasn't so aggro. Maybe more like a... I think it wall. also just, I, I think it just needs to go down an octave. Oh, he's got that bass that comes in, too. It's four oh. Octaves. Oh. Oh, I see. It's like a, it's like a, uh, FM bass. I mean, that, that could even just be cool to give it a little bit of life. Movement. Yeah. This really reminds me of, like, old UKF, like, tracks. That sound. I mean, that's pretty much... Yeah, 
I think it's better with off, where it's just like a freestanding LFO. Compress a little bit. Is that always like that? Okay, so we have a side chain sub and then a bass that has a ton of, relatively ton of sub in the, like, in the stereo field. See, I don't, I don't really see this whole multiband. I, I think it's a cool concept, you know, separating the chains and doing this multiband processing. Is that, but is he doing anything to it? Though? It wasn't really doing anything. Yeah, I don't think he added anything. So, um, I'm just gonna get rid of this EQ and and do a new one. Now you're still getting that like low end kind of weight that you want but it's not going to conflict with the actual sub that you have um and i'm also definitely going to go into the side and cut that way higher And then to have like a side chaining sub with like these that are not side chaining is kind of weird. So we should fix that. Where's the side chain? An LFO tool. Oh, okay. it's a it's a kick start. Oh. So you know what? I'm just gonna unfree this unfreeze this anyway. So. And then if I'm doing a sub in like a, a verse like this, right before a drop, I'll normally put a utility on it. And then just for like this section here, I'll turn it down like, you know, 4 dB. So the sub is still present, but then when the drop comes in, it doesn't feel like you've been hearing the sub at that like same level the whole time. So... So all of this has Kickstarter on it, so I'm just going to unfreeze those and redo the side chain with a compressor, and I'm going to put the sub in there. What level do you make your sub at? Um, Relative? I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a sec. I'll, I'll show you how I process my sub and how I can figure out how to dial it in without even really being able to, or really really having to hear it. So what I'm doing right now is this whole drop group. Um, this is like, I'm going to call this mid. And then we're going to make a group for sub. So now both of these groups are getting the same side chain, but you can process the mid and the sub separately. It just makes things a little bit easier. So let's set up the side chain. Uh, what number is the kick? It's kick. So let's go kick. Ooh. Let's see what happens if I do that. It's going to be a little too aggressive. Let's see what happens if I do that. The roll off is pretty long. There we go. That's kind of more what we're looking for. Push that attack up a little bit. Right? Nah. Why? Huh. 
Did I just make everything way quieter? Just touching the F out of that. Yeah. yeah, but that shouldn't have done it. Maybe pull the ratio down. Okay, so that isn't coming from distorting from side chain. I mean, we could turn this up like. Just a little makeup gain because it's getting side chained. I'm just trying to figure out, like... So it's kind of like that same sound from the intro thing. It's you know, FM. I, I really have problems with these FM sounds because, I don't know, there's just so many ways that they can go wrong. Like, that's a completely different note. Than it was before. Check you know the effects. I mean? Is there a distortion or chorus or something? This, no, this is reverb. Just reverb. The reverb's adding a lot though. Yeah, the reverb sounds good. It's just that weird, like, in the front of it. Uh, let's go into the matrix. Volume, filter cutoff. There's nothing crazy going on. That sounds kind of way better. Like, in terms of tone. That sounds like a jazz record. I mean, one that you wouldn't put out, obviously. <laughs> So I find when you keep it super simple like that, and then you can distort it. And now it sounds way meaner, but also way cleaner. Meaner and cleaner. Looking for a little bit of Mr. Clean with a little bit of that Mr. Lean. Way meaner and cleaner. Are we still visible? Yeah, we're still visible. I mean, that that's like... To me, it's like night and day already. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I think that the thing, only thing that really stuck out is just like the syncopation of that drop. It's like really static. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to get the sound figured out first before we got into like the melody or whatever. Um... So just, Carter just... said, um, I think the resonance is coming back. Serum filter has a weird artifact sometimes with sine waves as well. I legit can't use serum for sine waves. Interesting. I just like operator. Uh, I use serum for everything. I make, I make sine wave bases on serum all the time. I don't really seem to have a problem, but I'm also one of those guys that's way too lazy. If, if there's like a little artifact in something, I just really don't care because it's not it's not gonna cut through the mix most of the time when yeah. it's all said and done. And a lot of times, like I don't know, the more you're gonna distort the shit out of me. Anyway, <laughs> uh, also operator is sick though. Also wavetable, the new one in Ableton, I've been having a lot of fun with. Oh yeah. Um and uh, analog, I think. None of these things that I know. Yeah, which is weird because you would feel like you were the guy that would be using analog the most because you're techno. Dang. Get it? Analog. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I want to move Dovish. 
I wanna I wanna move Doge eventually. That's for next time. Um okay. I mean, I'm I'm much more happy with how that sounds. Now let me just get into the sub a little bit for you guys. Uh what? Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, I put that there. So, the way that I process my subs, and this is actually a perfect example, because there's like high notes, there's low notes, um, and you wanna figure out how to make sure that all of those notes, because like, obviously with subs, some notes sound really good, some notes don't sound as good, and it took me a long time to figure out how to get all the notes to sound as close to each other as possible in terms of loudness. He's so, still, that's a struggle. Uh, what is, oh, that is B0. Okay, so we're just gonna keep it at that. So what I do is first off, I, I just roll it off to like, 100 hertz or whatever just because you really don't need anything more than that but then after that saturator Classic. hard Classic. curve yes minus 10 it just sounds good i can't explain why but the important part is that you get whatever your favorite limiter is i like the waves l2 mono because it makes the sound mono um without you having to do anything uh and you want your base to be, your your sub base to be mono i think that l2 mono is just for pro tools reference because there are mono tracks and stereo tracks and that the stereo tracks won't work on the mono tracks so you need the mono vst to work on the mono tracks i don't know if it actually makes it mono let's find out um I mean, it's gonna be pretty mono anyways, right? But let's just, uh, let's get, just to test this theory, I'm gonna get uh, KHS stereo, right? So now I'm gonna take out all the mids and you can't hear anything. The reason you have your sub in mono instead of stereo is because the wavelengths are so long for a sub that any kind of variation between stereo would make them phase and they would sound bad or cancel out. I didn't know that. Um, and there are, to be fair, I'm not gonna do this test. This is dumb. Cool. You're probably right. Maybe this isn't making a mono, but this is what I use. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter either way. Yeah, although I will say there are a lot of mix engineers that are doing stuff to make low end stereo, but in like a good way now. Like Nadari does that a lot on hip hop records. Really? Um, yeah, and if you listen to Rock the Party, the the sub bass on it is kind of kind of wide. Huh. Yeah. I wonder if it's a trick or if it's like. It is a trick. Yeah. Yeah. Sean hasn't shared it with me. Because but... I mean, technically, the wave like, like a thirty hertz wave is like sixty meters long or sixty feet long or something like that. So like that's not gonna happen in your headphones anyway. Right. Um, Unless you're listening. About okay. It. So, anyways, back to this. So there's. There's some notes that are hitting loud, some some that aren't hitting as loud. How do we get them to sound as close to as loud as each other as possible, right? So I'm gonna take this limiter and I'm dragging down the threshold until, until it just peaks a little bit on the loudest note. Just like that. You see how the attenuation just clicks a little bit? That's what you want. And now that's going to be like the closest to all of your sub notes hitting at about the same level, the same energy. Um, it's not that noticeable right now, but um, I use this trick all the time and I get a lot of questions about how I make my sub bass sound good. And this is literally all I do. These three EQ, the saturator, and then a limiter to make sure it's all kind of tied together, and that's literally it. Shout out to Frank. Oh. And 
And then just for fun, let's take the low end out of this whole mid group. Just so that the sub really has room to shine. I would take it to like 90 something. You're really not missing anything. Even up there, you're really not missing anything. Oh, sorry, I forgot I forgot the uh, the most important part of everything that I was just saying about low end. So let's pretend that the low end was at zero dB, right? That's obviously way too loud. But when I have the the limiter set so that I know that everything is hitting as loud as possible, the way that I mix, I know that I can turn my sub down to like minus nine. And that's where it should be hitting on my master. And I literally do that all the time. I always set it to minus nine. And then like, if it doesn't sound quite loud enough, I'll push it up a tad. And if it sounds too loud, I'll push it back a little bit more. But that is like a like workflow. I've done this 6,000 times. I know where my master hits. I know where my sounds yeah. hit. Like that's like a very specific, like, Yeah, you get to that point. You don't yeah, just do that. But still, if you use this trick, and you make it as loud as possible, and then you take your whole subgroup down to minus nine, It getting in that routine could help yeah. someone who isn't as or comfortable. Or at least with like mixing. getting consistency to know when yeah. to turn them down. Yeah, because yeah. I put mine at minus six every time. Right. Which is funny. Yeah. Like for this project, that's obviously way too loud. So let's bring it down to like 13. And like in my headphones, I know my headphones really well. It sounds about where it needs to be. So cool. Um, oh, I didn't even know about this guy. That's the original sound, right? No, it's A and B. So I think this is like a layer. Yeah, yeah. But it sounds like the original. It's still got that weird grit thing. Well, I mean, I'm sure that he made a copy of it and then yeah, just yeah, made it I mean. higher. So... It's all the same plugins, too, yeah. What did he change? No, no, because he didn't have Trash on the other one. He didn't have Sausage Foundry. He didn't have... Okay, so it's just harmonic. So it is different. The crap out of that one. Like, for a... To add, like, a high-end width layer to this, I actually, like... You want it to not sound perfect and full by itself because you're trying to add harmonics to your original sound. You don't want them to both be competing for space, if that makes sense. That side chain, that side chain makeup is real loud when the kick's not in, though. Yeah. So. Maybe compress it after. Well, the let's fact. just see what happens if I turn this off. It needs it, but maybe not. Maybe not as much of the duck. Maybe less of yeah, the Yeah, but I'm just interested to see. Here, hold on. Because it adds way group. It's actually barely at taking away any volume when I turn the, the compressor on. Yeah. So we should just do it before the side chain. You know what I mean? Do what? Oh, volume? Yeah, yeah we yeah. just literally need to turn these up a little bit. Oh, and the whole drop group is minus 15. Yeah, this whole so thing I... is really quiet. I mean... I guess it is I guess it is still taking away a little bit. Um, 
Maybe I'll increase the attack so you're glad to finally get the recognition I deserve. Yeah, these these really short attack sounds like that. I have a hard time doing the side chains because I like to do these really hardcore like pumping side chains. So you, you do love to pump, to pump it up. Is that better? No. Um, this is me right now. Swing and a miss. Slam balls. So I guess what I could do is let's just make the output gain to what? And then when it goes off, I'll just automate the output gain. You know what I mean? So there's no side chain right here, right? I so... literally hate this. I hate that you're doing this. This hurts so much. Yeah, but the so the so the other way to do it is to make the side chain worse. Yeah, or use a different like yeah uh, thing. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. annoying too. Yeah, but and like the, sure, this is like a little bit more time consuming, especially if you rearrange it. And you're like, where the f is my? Yeah, my but as long as you rearrange it with uh, without the lock on, you're fine. Yeah. Um. Right, arrangements are interesting. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. That's a pretty simple fix. So what I think you could use here is just a quick little filter automation. What? Uh, so maybe here you have it go up, and then during the buildup it goes from up to down, you know what I mean? So like... Classic EDM. And that, that just adds a lot more life. This should just be the draw. I was literally thinking that. <laughs> I was right? like, this is way harder. Yeah. Like, change that saw base, and then it's over. Yeah. And then maybe you could, like, use some of this as, like, a melodic, like, like break. Fill. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I didn't, like, try play, if I skip in that part, just delete all this full uh, stuff. Full stuff. Drop two, build two. Yeah, see, this, I don't know. Why are we doing this? Um, it's a really long phrasing. Phrasing? That's a really long... So, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to copy, or I'm gonna- Even longer, even this build two too. Yeah, 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 I'm getting there, just relax. Delete everything, just delete both parts. So I'm gonna go like that, oh. and then at the very end, I'm gonna put that, so that it's still there. TFW, you're doing a collab, and they delete an entire section. Literal pain. So let's go like this, and then- It's your time. Just like that. I mean, that feels way better to me. I like the way the sound is, just needs a little work, but I think that the groove is way more there. So, but are but we also, yeah, are we in the key of B, or are we in the key of E? Well, E is the fifth, right? Yeah. So I guess that works, but it just like the the way that it travels, the vocal travels into that mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. because because That's the other it. drop it hits on the starts fifth. on. 
see this one starts on B and the other one starts on E. So I think what would be more effective is if the first hit was a B and then the saw base was the E. Because. All right, let's try it. Oops, wrong drop. Yeah. I'm a I'm a big old dummy. It's kind of dumb. I mean, dumb means put get down. Yeah, right. Wow, well, wow. Well. Maybe double tap that. Well, well. Oh, so the whole thing. I love that. Yeah, no, you did. It's okay. So here's option number seventy-two, which is <laughs> down, down five, down, right? Uh, I think she's finished on on the fifth. This is like the family Guy episode. Maybe that's all I needed. So let's bring everything back to pitch. Okay, so now. You could carry that vocal through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe Some let's just make vibes. a, like. Oh man, if I were. Oh! Yes. If I were in the chat watching you go through my project, I'd just be screaming right now. <laughs> I'd be like, I did it for a reason! Uh, uh. Yeah, cut that last one. Cut that last or, bit of the on. vocal. So when it goes up, wow, well, wow. Well. Relax! Just keep doing what I say and not what you're saying. Fuck, there it is. This is like classic drum and bass. Like, type. Sonani206 says, delete the 16th chop. I can't count that high. I can only count to four. I think you should automate this chop, like the, six, the 18, um, 16. Some people in chat are talking about kickstart versus a regular compressor. I actually use volume shaper or shaper box personally. Um, and I'll, I use a, a, a MIDI, MIDI uh, trigger, like a ghost. This is what I think of your side checking technique. <laughs> um... And you can get the same control that you can with a with a regular compressor with that, and even with Kickstart, as long as you use a, a MIDI uh, sidechain. You know what I mean? Because it's just like if you don't want the sidechain to happen, you take the MIDI trigger away, and then it doesn't happen. Um, I've I've thought about doing some like actual tutorials, so I'll 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 probably uh, do that sooner than later. I am at Donwe Rage. Is Stormy in the chat right now? Storm Dog? Is Storm Dog here? Storm Dog. IO, what's your side chaining technique? He doesn't side chain. He just uses a you kick. Turn drum. everything up all the way, then the key limiter side chains everything Yo, for you. I have my wallet and my car keys in my butt hole right now. <laughs> this hurts so much. No, I actually use the Ableton 8 side chain. If that, like, not even kidding. Because You're so it, dumb. Everything you the, do is so stupid. It has the um, 
I forgot what setting on it. I don't even know. I just know that it's the late button that I press. But it takes me. Like, sorry, I can't hear you. I'm raving. <laughs> Let's I hate you. I think that'd be a cool addition to it. So let's do something cool with this vocal. Uh, let's give it... We should do a Sandstorm remix. I did a Sand... You know what? FF1. Yeah, Carter knows. Thank you, Carter. Oh my god, everybody in chat just says you suck and that I'm awesome. Live 8 compressor is way better than the 9 or 10. No, it's not. They're all the same. No, there's the FF1 setting that Carter pointed out, which is extremely important. And Carter, thank you so much. Honestly, we can be best friends because I don't have any, apparently, anymore. So where where, where would that setting have been? Uh, I think they replaced it with, like, that peak shit. Yeah. Stuff. God. Um, so maybe the difference is peak or RMS? It's no, like, no, it's not that. It's something to do with, like, look ahead. I mean, there, there is a look ahead right here. Yeah, it's, it's literally just a click. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Back to what we were actually doing. In Which a, is just proving in, how awesome I am. Normal, producing. cool guy in Portland land. Okay, cool. You know, where, we should make drum bass. Garrett sucks. We should just make a drum bass alias called so, FF1. What I'm doing right now is I'm taking the last two bars of the original drop and I'm just going to pop them into here to give it kind of like a melodic break. You know what I mean? Nope, nope, too far. See that? Now it's not just the same thing over and over again. Standard. And then here we could take these and like pitch them or something, but I'll do that later. I want to keep moving. So what what happens here? that Drake snare? The now and forever snare? I don't know, where is it at? So, what I'm thinking is we do something like this and we go, we're gonna Frankenstein the situation. You Did know you what I'm saying? put the trap thing in there? Don't put the trap thing in there. Garrett, why don't you shut your mouth? I'm so f sick of this. I'm so sick of love songs. So tired. I don't know. It sounds just like a different idea. Well, it does right now. Because it hasn't been...
break out the drums. I mean, that works pretty good to me. Let's just do it all the way through. See what happened here. Like in the, in the mind of the producer, I see what happened here. It was a like he wanted something rhythmic to like keep it going. No, like that. It's like found a trap sample, like making a house song and trap. Like it's like a like the the idea that we took out is the only cohesive piece of the of that trap part with the house part. It was like I disagree. I do this a, stuff is, on my songs all the time. Yeah, no, but like I'm thinking, like when that was like really common, would be making. Uh, Bloodface Killer said, "Chat needs Jaws emotes. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on sub badges. We're working on emotes. We're working on all the cool stuff." Um, In the meantime, yeah, but now we got memes. <laughs> we got memes. We got memes. We got memes. Uh, but with yeah, with with emotes. And sub badges and stuff, that means people are gonna actually have to cheer bits and stuff. So you guys better get your bits ready. I got your bits in my hand. I need bits so I, I can need, eat. I need all your bits. Put them in my hand, y'all. And now. Let's get rid of build two, drop two. We're just gonna go straight to the break from here. Bad. These build ups need a little bit of something. Probably that trap melody that would just delete forever. I'm kidding, don't put that. No, we can find something else. But I mean, already this is feeling like a much more put together song, you know? Um. Arash asked when or at what time do you stream so we can know when to tune in? Um, it's almost always on Mondays. I mean, the mu demo roulette is always on Mondays. It's always around 6 p.m. Pacific Standard. Um, that's when I'll do it. It was supposed to be once every two weeks, and so far I've been doing it almost every single week. I'm going to try to do it as many Mondays in a row as I can. Um, but yeah. This is like the newest state of trance. You do it every week. Even when you're touring. What? Even when you're touring. Well, when I'm touring, it's going to be tough. But we're trying to figure out a streaming situation for the tour bus. Or like you could record it. Yeah. Or maybe when I'm on tour, I could do like YouTube tutorials or something. Yeah. Um, people are asking about processing the vocal. This is already a processed vocal. Like when you get a sample like this, you don't want to go crazy with this with the with the with the processing on it because it's already been done. 
So anything that you're doing to it is just like you're actually probably just going to make it sound worse. Um, Compression is usually the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, but this Even thing is, I mean, I mean, look it, right? at it. It's, it's, it already is compressed as much as you can get it. And it's got effects on it. And it's got effects. Um, what I don't like is this EQ. So let's try to redo that. Oh. Wait, what? Why not? Uh oh. Tomorrow? Okay. Yeah, so I think that this EQ is taking out the fundamentals of the song. And then this right here is taking out basically all of the sibilance or like the what what like makes the vocal stick out. So let's just bring that back. Love, love, never let me go. And then you were cut he was cutting out all of the high end kind of sheen. So we can replicate what was going on, but just a little bit, you know, more subtle, I would say. Um I really want to get fab filter in here. I really try to do everything without like inside of Ableton. Joe, can you hear that? Yeah. Huh. Hello. I'll be right back. Hi. Hey, babe. And we're back. How do we submit for this? Um, if you go to the, uh, if you go to the Discord, the Bite This Discord, that is, oh. Well, everyone's just sending the Google Doc thing. I want people to get on the Discord, get active in the Discord, the uh, producer section of the Discord. All the demo roulette rules, where to submit, all that stuff is in the Discord. If you're not a member of the Discord already, you should definitely go in there. Um, yeah. Get all those bits, y'all. Bits have nothing to do with Discord. Cool, get, then, all right. Get all those wait, 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 likes. Wait, wait, wait. It's like right on the EQ. <laughs> Just drop cash on your EQ and it instantly gets better. It's true, everything does. All right, so let's go through, and so I already cut out the low end uh, in this vocal. So let's just go through and find like bad frequencies to take out. In the high end because he was he was rolling off all the high end we don't want to do that but we want to take out some offensive frequencies right that one hurt they all hurt when you solo them that one's not great love, love, never let me go. oops uh we could we could do a high cut i'm just gonna make it like at like twenty thousand hertz so like you know all this Audible things you can't hear. Yeah, exactly. Love, love, never I mean, like this e this this vocal is already so well EQ. There's almost nothing to really do, honestly. So like this area right here, like two and a half k to like four, that's where all the sibilance of a vocal is. So you really don't want to be cutting any of that out. I mean, when, when I solo it like that, you can hear it. That's like the sweet spot of the vocal. You know what I mean? So like, if I cut all that out, love, love. it sounds like it's muffled. Love, love. And now it sounds really clear. So I don't want to cut any of that out. Around like 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, that's where some like kind of less than ideal frequencies are normally 
It's also where you'll find a general overlap, with, like everything. So yeah. if you're looking to cut frequencies, love, it. Love, never let me go. Never let me go. No, never let me go. Vocal too loud now. Let's also see what's going on with this reverb. I really don't. I really don't like using sends and returns because you're sending everything to it, and it's just this big mishmash. But I mean, at the at the very least, let's put a high pass on this thing. I'll use it to create a room for a track. For yeah, time. but I'll just put a, a reverb like in the group thing. You know, like the Duda chain. Yeah, on a yeah, group yeah, yeah, yeah. and then put everything i want to be on that reverb in that group yeah but you also are doing groups within groups where it's uh, still not you still don't do groups within groups no i still it wasn't nine i don't know why you're so dumb you're making your life so hard it's all i need is a, a moog and a 909 i make techno But yeah, I feel like the vocal now is... <laughs> Poor IO getting bullied. Yeah, he sucks. I deserve, I deserve it. Honestly, what we could do is take these melody things and cut some frequencies out of them to let the vocals sit better, you know? So let's go around like... I mean, honestly, there's like nothing over there anyways, but I'm just gonna go like that. It makes a little bit of a difference. It like it looks like it's not making that big of a difference, but you can hear the vocal clearer. It's a cymatic snare. It's not a Drake snare. It sounds like that now and forever. I'm moving. I'm leaving. I'll be forever. I'm gone. So I'm going to do a little snare build here. I'm a fan of lower. Wait, are these what? you made them into hats with that eq almost but it's it's supposed to be like the support snare for the other snare you know what i mean uh, 
I see what he was doing. He's just trying to make it brighter, but I really don't think it needs it. I like it. Like it's um. Yeah, snares like that, it's really more about the mid-range, I feel like, you know? That's, like, why they like that. They yeah. Like, it's so they can cut through the mix. That trap stuff. That trap. Real trap. Uh, can I explain send and returns? Uh, honestly, I don't use them at all. Long story short, send and returns are an old-school way um, that, you know, before Ableton and Intelligent music making programs existed that people could use reverbs, delays, other effects that they didn't want to actually affect the dry signal of like a vocal or something. So if you put a reverb on a send and then you send some of your vocal to that send, if that makes sense, um, then you're getting the reverb plus all of the dry audio signal from the vocal, which is why you would want to use it. But you could also just do this. You could go on to the vocal, you could take a reverb. And so this is why people use sends and returns, right? So we have the reverb at 55%. Never let me go from your and and the the vocal gets pushed back into the mix. What's well, like a percentage? You're using you're right. using some of the yeah. dry to gain some exactly. Of the wet. But if you put it at a hundred percent wet, and then you put it in a group, and then you create a dry chain. So this is dry, and this is the wet, fully processed. Never let me go from your love. You're not losing any of the dry vocal, but you're adding all of the reverb. Never let me and if you don't use sends already but you're putting reverbs on vocals and you're just using like 20 percent or whatever i would highly suggest doing it the way that i just did it it'll make everything in your life much more clear but you also just have to remember that you you know turn down the reverb a good bit because otherwise it's going to be way way too powerful yeah you get way more control this way though yeah and for some reason the sends on ableton are just garbage like i don't, sometimes don't even hear them until I don't, I don't love them. Yeah. Never let me go from your love. Never let me go from your love. Never let me go. I don't really know if this whole break is completely necessary now. I think we could just go like that. Oh. I mean, right? Yeah, no, 100%. Just watching you delete a whole piece of time made the kid kill himself. <laughs> Sheesh. Bet him. SVWZ music. I don't know how to say that. Saws? Sues? SVW? Saws, I uh, guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm having trouble Traffy. mixing guitar instruments. I have guitar, piano, violin in the same song. Uh, important parts at the same frequencies. You have to decide which one is the most important and then EQ out those same important parts of the other ones. And then you can actually turn up those ones that you EQ'd out the important parts. And I promise they sound worse when you solo them, but together it'll all make sense. It's a really, really complicated concept to like wrap your head around. I literally, I, I, I swear to God, it took me until maybe four weeks ago to really understand how to EQ effectively like that. Because so all those instruments are the same yeah. wave, which is ironic because yeah. his name is Saws. Yeah. So you just have too many Saws. Yeah. 
Uh, you could also try to move one up an octave or down an octave. You can try to pan them, put them in different reverbs. But honestly, at the end of the day, you just have to choose which one is the most important and then carve out room for it from the rest. It's like a relationship. Yeah. You'll, you'll get it. It's tough, but you will get it. It is saws. Okay, we were right. You have too many saws. You should rename yourself to saw. Frequency masking. That is exactly what it's called. Blood um, face killer. Blood face killer is also a knowledge killer. Dropping the base. We should go for the whole. It should just scene change to Doge. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make it go all, all crazy. Dang. I think I'm just gonna leave Yachty there. <laughs> it looks like he's breaking into Ableton. <laughs> He's like this whole section. Cause it's great, because the the gray of the green screen is like the same color as Ableton. That's actually incredible. Look no, at that. It's a green wow. screen. Wow. Yeah, screen. but it's like the way that I set the chroma key turned the green screen that color gray. No, it does it on everything. No, no. Like really? the, the green screen was a different color when it started and then I changed the things. It, would, it wouldn't just Carter look... Carter literally my only friend. <laughs> he just defends me on everything. I'm saying it, it, it could be not exactly the same. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. So far, it's been really good on everything. E either way, look at that. It literally looks like he's breaking through Ableton. That's how green screens work, Jaws! Um, Carter, you just, just text me later, man. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Yep, you're right. That's just how green screens work. I suck. Back to you. I just like the fact that he's breaking Ableton. That's amazing. <laughs> that's so that's so sick. No, I will never accept the Live 8 compressor is, is better than the new ones. I don't care. I'm, I've sent you the Live 8 compressor. I don't give a sh and f and I on several on sev several occasions I've sent you the live eight compressor for sidechain, and every single time. And every single time. Every, every, I, does it turn off when I oh no it's. <laughs> We end up using volume shaper. Yeah, every time. <laughs> like, dude, you use the live it. eight compressor, and then I put I on volume it. shaper, and you're like, volume shaper sucks. You can't get it to sound good, and you're like, oh wait, it actually sounds really good. Yeah, so shut up. It's okay, guys. I deserve it. <laughs> wait, wait. Can we get? Can we get? Oh, <laughs> He's on beat, that's so lit! Wow, he's on the four too. how he fell on the mat at the drop oh my <laughs> god oh uh, that was great good times okay guys okay so now we're getting into the part where i could get really technical and like 
do reverb fills into the next sections and like really do a bunch of crazy stuff but that's but not that's really what your interns for i wish right <laughs> um but that's not really the point it's more of like a i want this to be i feel like we did a lot of stuff to help the song i feel like we did enough that you guys learned some stuff i want to move on to one more song before me and garrett got a go go so yeah the arrangement way better the sound is better and the sound, it sounds like a song now rather than yeah a right ideas. right it's like one of the hardest things when you're starting to produce is like you're coming up with a lot of ideas and they all sound good so you're like cool let's put it together and you're like well that was definitely a big problem for me yeah you just do one all right i need to move the mic oh my god you can actually hear my voice now say something what's up it's still me in the background yeah, but it was like your voice was like actually clear because the mic was over here and I was like over here and you like couldn't really hear anything I was saying. I think now it's much better. I think it should just all be me the whole time. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, just leave it there. 32. I in turn. Honestly, sometimes. Uh, little known fact. I was an intern. Garrett. Jaws basically sat in the studio and hold, held my hand the entire way through the wise and the wicked like yeah, it, writing it was all more the of songs an, it wasn't an internship more as a emotional support animal yeah pretty much <laughs> uh-oh this is a we transfer link i have a feeling it's going to be dead transfer deleted wah, wah. that's why you drop off as long as you don't use google drive oh this is google drive all right who's 40 so Lache. Please ba change the beat. Wait, I, the I did this one. Russian roulette. I did this one. Russian roulette. Oh, classic. Russian roulette. Chat roulette. Demo, Demo roulette. roulette. 47. Has anyone received their tracks back from Sam? No, Vanta. I'm sorry. I, I said this earlier in the stream. Um, no cash I've been super busy writing the stuff for the new EP. And every time I tell myself i'm gonna package up the the projects for you guys i forgot but tomorrow is the day i will getting be getting back these two projects we worked on today and every other one um yeah you're 33 jonah dubois you were 33 you know what let's just do it wait i think it's a we transfer one no no he was the one right above 32 jonah is your is your track lit is it sick? Because if it's not, you're going to get one of these. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, did I just pull 46? 47, okay. Uh, Carter, that is a great... <laughs> it's a great suggestion. Um, I don't have people who can do that stuff for me because our management team is very busy with all that kind of stuff. Um, distributing them is not the problem. It's actually packaging the problem or the <laughs> packaging the problems up into a tiny little box and shoving them away in a deep, dark part of my memory. <laughs> <laughs> Never revisiting them again. I'm fine. Uh, yeah, no, it's actually packaging the prop, pro the, the projects and then sending them back is not, not that big of a deal. Um, <laughs> bottling up every yeah, ba bottling up my emotions is the bigger problem. Um, but I'm yeah, here. um, I, I do need to set up, I have, I have a couple mods in discord. I don't have any on Twitch yet. Um, I'm, I'm definitely open to, if anyone wants to, um, apply to be a mod, send an email to, uh, I can't remember what the email address is. I think it's like demo roulette at gmail.com or something like that. Uh, oh my God. I hate you so much, Garrett. I'll just beatbox. This is a new track. Is there other samples? Can I pick other samples? Wait, which one? Which one are we doing again? 33. 33 right. or 46. Okay. No, 33, yeah. Okay. Someone's going to be sad. Carter wants to be your mod. You know, you know he's just going to talk. 
I support. Yeah, I think you should be the mod. I think you should. I I don't know if you should be the mod. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Stop. Hold the stop the presses. <laughs> not only is there the project, not only is there a read me first, but there's also a picture. Oh my gosh. Of uh, me and D Jonah. Of uh, Wes. Here is the present. It's a present. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Goodness. Hold on. I want to guess where this is from. Based off of what I'm wearing, how fat I was, and the lack of tattoos on my arms. Oh my god. I was going to say it was in Switzerland. I knew it. Any tattoos? Yeah. What? I have much more tattoos on my arm now. This camera sucks. You have a really cool poly D haircut. Yeah, yeah, that was in, uh, it was in Zurich, right? Yeah, it was in Lausanne. It was definitely Zurich. Wow, they're ripping you apart. I'm sorry. Freiburg? But you know what? You deserve it. Look what you're wearing. Which tattoo is my favorite? Um, this one is the... Oh man, can you guys even see this? Do you guys have the IO tattoo? Show them the IO no, tattoo. No, I don't have an IO tattoo. Show them the IO tattoo. I have this one up on, up on my arm. I have a just tattoo. This one is the, this one's the newest one. It's pretty gnarly. I think I was on my mic. Uh, do I have the Shark Squad tattoo logo? Ow! Um, no, I don't. Thing. But my mom does. My mom has that logo on her foot. Cause she's crazy. I have a Jaws logo on my <laughs> nice. Yeah, I bleeped it out because it's on sick. my cool good one. Oh, you're getting it soon. That's sick. Um, I need to get the wise and the wicked tattoo. That's what I actually need to do. Um, okay, well, wait, wait. So let's go through this. Read me first. Hi, Sam. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for opening my Ableton project. Wait, hold on. Should I read this? Yeah, yeah. Fortunate. Yeah. I'm gonna. We're we're gonna role play right now. <laughs> I'm now Jonah. Hi, Sam. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for opening my Ableton project file. <laughs> Feel free to dive into the project and tell me what you think or what I can improve. Can't wait to hear your suggestions. It sounds like the thing in uh, Borderlands. Yeah, it sounds like Claptrap. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and why not listen to my unreleased tracks during the download process? Here's the secret link. That now the entire internet can see. Way to go, Jonah. Oh, by the way, I included a random picture of myself in the Dropbox folder. Not random at all. I'm in the picture. <laughs> wow, now Carter's now now Carter's on my side. Why does IO sound like female claptrap? He's trying to get that internship. He's, He's trying to get that internship. Shut up. Um, cheers, D. Jonah, Lausanne, Switzerland. Oh wait, you are. It was in Lausanne. Okay. All right. Whatever. Let's get into this project, Jonah. Uh, okay. Hold on. Oh god. <clears throat> god, I feel so much better. Is this? Is this the pitch? Is this the? And that's not the pitch. Okay, you can't just team up with Carter. Carter's fucked, man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, there's still like, reverb. Is that the reverb? What did I just do with Wait, that volume? If you want to get really crazy, you hit this hard tune. Take it up like that. I swallowed a beer That's the auto tune of my nightmares. <laughs> Alright, let's get into that old. Uh... What's megaphone? What's megaphone? Are you a robot? No. You have to turn this on before you do it. Uh, so now we sound like we're talking through a megaphone. Soldier 76. <laughs> this one is that I can't hear. It's a robot. Uh, it's a claptrap again. No, but this actually sounds more like a robot than claptrap does. Claptrap? 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 Oh. Oh. Alright, let's get this guy's project, because he's probably wondering if we're ever going to get into his project ever. Um, when will Keep the Rave Alive VIP be released? 
No comment. Got him. Got him. Yeah, for sure. Got him. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, 11 seconds, 10 seconds. Oh, we've been downloading the whole time. That's why we were messing around. Yeah. I thought we were just being, what's the word? Ignorant. Ignoring. So the doge is for downloading. It's the download doge. Oh, it covers up the download. Time. It's the so download it's like, doge. The, yeah, the download. And I need to I need to make it so that when the download doge happens, it's like the the like some sort of audio loop, like uh, the Price is Right or uh, what's that Jeopardy? Dun 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 dun. It should dun, be the dun, Kill Bill dun. thing where it's like wait wait wait. We should probably get annoying after nah. the sixty alpha. Yeah, Jeopardy theme. Agreed. Good, whatever, Carter. I'm sick of you, man. We used to be friends. I'm never using the eight compressor anymore. I'm gonna use fucking volume. Shaper. Oh my god, <laughs> volume shaper. If you get me kicked off of Twitch, partner, <laughs> for swearing, I think I just like they'll just delete my username. Jaws, remember when you said you'd stop talking on the mic so much? I think you started doing it again. You need to focus on your goals. You know what my goals are? My, my dude. My goals are to continue to make music and play shows and make people happy. And if I uh, talk during my sets, then that's what happens. And I said I was going to stop talking so much during my sets. And sometimes I, I do not talk as much. And sometimes I do talk a lot. And you know what? I've accepted that. And you're going to have to accept it too because that's just who I am. And I like to interact with the crowd and, uh, you know, whatever. That's what it is. Will I ever release the strobe and lights go down uh, mashup? No, there's no real way to get, to release mashups anymore. Yeah, especially not with strobe. I know that battle. Yeah. That ain't gonna happen. Um, and I'd like to have it as, like, something special for my, for my sets, you know? Uh, but, yeah, let's get into this project. All right, D. Jonah, is it going to be one of these? Is it going to be a flop or is it going to be one of these? It's a 5 a.m. over there, he said. So he's probably asleep. But I saw a picture of himself next to you and was like, okay, I'm good. Only thing you can't say on stream is gamer words. <laughs> wow. What does that even mean? I think he's saying you can't say... Things Dead Mouse got in trouble for, perhaps. Yeah, or all the other gamers that have gotten in trouble. Holy! Oh. <laughs> oh my God. How this many, is very organized. How many channels is this? So far, Jonah, it looks like you got one of these, but we haven't listened to it yet. You're gonna have the most put together project but it could it doesn't mean it's good but um i'm also very concerned about uh the the bass is is just playing it's really you can hear it it's really pitchy it's for sure the sub oh my oh god oh no oh no wait there's three multi-bands whoa he's the ott is literally bringing up an impossible frequency do you see that uh, so yeah, step one, we're just gonna slap a little gate on this guy. Oh my goodness. Um, so just before we get into it, I would like to say that sometimes less is more. This is a lot of processing for what looks like it's a riser. But let's listen to it and we'll see what's going on. Also, this is the side chain. Side chain should always be at the end of your processing. I feel so connected to Mr. Jonah here. This is how all my projects used to look. Like six million things. Yeah. This is how your projects used to look. Like I used to have like two hundred channels and stuff. That was never Wait. It's still happening. Because look at this OTT, it's insane. Yeah, so I just have to put it here then. Whoa. Hectic. All right, why don't we actually listen? Oh God. 
Here we go. Oh wait, what's on the master? Nothing. Great. How many things do you think you're gonna have at once? All of them? No, it sounds like a normal song. Yeah. You dickhead. Well, yeah. I wonder what is... Maybe things are turned off. I like that little rise vibe though. That's cool. It is cool, but it's definitely messing with the other thing. But we'll, yeah. we'll get to Let's just listen. I wish I had this many drums. I literally just have like a kick and like two loops and call it a day. This is like, yeah. Oh, modal interchange. Went up one semitone. This, this like is yoink. spoopy. This sounds like Halloween. Is this this is the Halloween special. You're like yoink. Sounds like it was inspired by Joy Red. A little bit. Yeah, like, like very vocally chop. Trying yeah. to swing with the vocal. Uh, I, I I get where it's going. Um, I just feel like there's too much going on in the drop. And the. Sounds are way up in the mix too. Yeah, very, very much loud. Good. Where is that sound? You bet. Is that in the drums? Yeah, that sound is so loud that it needs to be in the drop group and it needs to be sidechained. So... Is there any... Yeah, there's no processing on there, so I'm just gonna take this. Yeah. Also, so volume see. automation, just for sanity, should be a utility. Yeah, I agree. going on here let's try to dissect all of this first i want to in this bass group i want to figure out where the actual low end bass is and then like what you would call the mid basses are so we can kind of get them all to play with each other yeah girl nope <laughs> 
Yeah, there are a lot of different sounds going at once. So let's group these and call them low. And now I'm going to turn those off and see what else I can find. Okay, so now we have that, and that, and then this. So I'm going to group those and call them the fill bases. And now none of them are playing? Why? Are they routed to something else, maybe? They routed to full. Fill. Just in DC. There's not very many. No, Nate, I'm not playing video games. Oh, that one was never supposed to play there. It was only supposed to play there. So here's how I'm feeling. This and this, like that feels kind of groovy. And the other one is like very straight on. Yeah, you know what I'm trying mean? to get the syncopation to make the groove, but it's not. But I feel like we kind of need to make a decision between one or the other. Yeah. You know? Like baseline or. Yeah. Um, like so. That. And I see that you're doing a lot of automation, turning stuff on and off. And that's honestly probably because there's so much OTT going on that you just can't get the ringing to stop, which is probably a sign that you could process stuff a little bit less, but still get it as loud or as aggressive as you want it to. Yeah. That already sounds better. I mean, what if we made that sub sound a bass sound, like a little bit higher up in the register? Because like it has groove to it, and then when that go 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 go, like whatever drum sound comes in, it like chops it up a bit. Sounds cool. I also don't feel like the side chain is working. There is no side chain. I guess it's compressor. No, but there's like a. Oh, I see. Now the side chain's working. Ow. Yeah, I think you just got too many sounds going on. Less is always more. And I think you're just trying to add stuff to make it feel interesting, but it's really all about honing in on what makes it sound fun and just like, you know, whatever. Yeah, I will speak to, as someone who used to make this.
Yeah, don't need that. That thing's way too loud. That vocal is very much too loud. Why is the kick clicking like that? Need some roll off on it. Yeah, it needs to. Oh, hell yeah. Can you make it back into simpler? Because they have that roll off thing now. Or fade out, whatever. Yeah, let's see what happens. Still has that click, no matter where. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe if we do a filter envelope on it? Oh my god. What have I done? Oh, right. It still has that click. Oh my gosh. Could it be? There's no it was, TT no, on it? Was, it was the auto pan. Oh, okay. Nope. There it is. There's the OTT. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, don't, don't OTT your kicks. If you need to put multiband dynamics on your kick, you're doing it wrong. You still got a different kick. So why don't we do that and add a little bit of envelope. No, it wants to be short and punchy. Yeah, there it is. And then this this crazy EQing is crazy. F. But it works, so I'm not going to stop you. Somehow... Whoa. I mean, I don't know. This this did not have to be this hard, but yeah, it is okay. Yeah, at the end of the day, get a better kick sample. You're making your life way too hard on yourself. And honestly, props to you for getting that kick to sound like this. Said this sounds like an IO track. Sometimes you guys even listen to my music. So this auto filter isn't even on anywhere. I'm gonna use it here. There's your freaking low end. Though, if you did like the double up times, like, mm, mm, can you not mm. wear so many bracelets? You're, you're getting jingleys in my mic. Y'all want to hear more bracelets? I got an earring so I could jingle more. There's two sides. You guys want to hear my earring jingle? Man, you're doing so much here. 
This is craziness. Also, and I've said this on a bunch of projects, but I'll say it again. A, sidechain always comes after all of the processing. And then also you should have your side chain on your whole base group, not on every single track, because then if you change the side chain once, you're going to change, need to change it 45,000 more times. This is true. Like, let's just turn this one off. And then drag this one up here, like that. Hey Carter, how do we fix this? I don't know if I I think we need those. I mean, this is sounding like a like a thing now. So much stuff layered on top of one another it's just it's hard to see what's doing what like what's this you're not even hearing that in the mix um it used to be so guilty of all of this like yeah. this just brings you back so much. i know i remember yeah i literally had to sit there and smack garrett upside the head and be like dude you are trying way too hard and it right cut now. me so deep that i had to make techno where i only had yeah to and now it. and now he literally <laughs> makes like songs with like two samples in them and calls it a day so Done. like take that as a lesson and now everyone's like wow io's music is so tight how does he do it and he's like cool it's like two samples and then you just just call put it reverb there. on your sub and then bounce it and turn it up too loud and then stop telling people to reverb their subs Oh, the lad is back. Everyone say hello to the miniest of the lads. Hello, Craig. I've missed you. I like this emoji. It's a good start to the combo. Yo, Craig, how long have you been here? Have you seen my new memes? Oh my gosh. Uh... Oh! Think he logged off. Imagine. I mean, this is like a good starting point here. Yeah, I mean, because the thing is, then now we simplified it down into the groove. We're going to simplify the rest of it down into the groove. A lot of it is off time. Yeah, what's up with that? I think it's a preset. The melody. Uh, no, it's just it's just starting wrong. I think he did that perfect. No. It looks like he did it on purpose. Yeah, but maybe he's trying to compensate for like the. Is it? Check this one. It might be on. It's on time. It wasn't. You know what it was? I think it's because 
I started it in the middle, so the ARP was like freaking out like this. So I just need to start it at the one. These arps are freaking out. You know what? I'm just going to freeze all of these so that they stop screwing up for now. Hear that little clicking? Oh no, it might just be on mine because I'm going through the GoXLR. Whatever. Oh wait. The loading doge. And now they can't see how long it's going to take to freeze. Frozen. We're done. I like that art. What if instead of being a long rolly bass, this was like a shorter bass? Boom, boom, boom. See, this is why it sucks having all of these side chains. And there's like multiple kicks. It's, 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 there's a whole thing. Yeah. So let's just see what happens. It's, it's F sharp. So whenever that big roll thing is happening, this bass should not be happening. So it should be like that. And then... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, no, not triplets. Something like that. Redux on Master to get the Cascade Redux sound. I love that joke. Solace said, let IO jump on Ableton, so be my guest. Okay. Here we go, gentlemen, ladies. Oh. <sighs> Memes. All right. Meme team. Oh, yeah. How old is IO? 50. 85. 85. 300. Okay, so I work on the bottom one. 
We have we have about 15 plus minutes to make this happen. So, so get to work. Just to copy. Let me mean, what we could have done with all this. All of those are already frozen. You just need to freeze the top one. I mean, you get the idea of the stuff for like going through this, it's just video work. Um, let's get the idea of the song down a little bit more. What I want to do with this is make a little bit of a... Yeah, I was, I would... I was gonna do that, but then you also have to copy those pitch bend notes. What pitch bend notes? All these? Yeah, the roar. Are they the same as the sound? Like this thing right here? Yeah. No, 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 don't duplicate it. Yeah. Just just copy those notes into that one. You know what I mean? No, 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 just, just for the drop. Just for the drop. Oh, copy paste it all into the same thing. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Have all the just do the whole just do the whole drop and everybody's got all this stuff off oh it doesn't matter then yeah if you put them in there's already gaps in it for them so there you go all right so now we're running i'm gonna just delete this i don't know what's going on so i'm gonna turn them off Another sound. Just put. That's cool. Adds like a fifth. And this is why you don't automate the volume. Because you can't just turn things up and do that. <laughs> Something sounds wrong. Something sounds wrong. It's because the sync is probably not an actual note. Sounds cool like that. Oh, it's the wrong one. So just, just high pass the one that you just added. You know what I mean? If you're trying to add like a harmonic layer, just high pass it and then distort it a little bit. You know what I mean? That already did a lot. See, it's just, everything's so quiet in here compared to all these effects, which is gonna take a month and a half to figure out what to turn down. Yeah. Well, let's just focus on just focus on big picture stuff. That sounds like a groove. Guessing IO doesn't use Ableton. No. <laughs> <That's> brutal. <laughs> he does use Ableton. No, I use PlayStation. He uses a uh, what was it like Nintendo Music Maker or whatever it is. Yeah. You know what I'm talking Base about? Garage Band. Or was it PlayStation Music Maker or whatever? Nine to ten isn't jarring at first. It's the same program. Nine to ten is kind of jarring. Oh, it's not. It's just that I don't. Want it. It's just that he sucks. Also, all the things are inverted on the keyboard. Whereas, what do you mean? You do down to up. Mine's up to go up. Down to go down. Yeah, I, I do it the same as my iPhone. Yeah, yeah. I just I'm stuck in stuck in 2008. You know what I mean? That's why I make analog music. Yeah. You know, Is that, is that this thing? Is that the 
Demba? You calling that a Demba? Because I will be upset. No, it is actually. If you solo it. Yeah. Is it in the drop sequence? No, I mean, is it in the drop? Yeah, but it's getting overpowered by that other one. The other percussion that I put. Oh, that I meant to put in the drop, but I didn't. Put in the middle. In the low. Bells. Put in the low. It just needs to get side chained. And also, maybe what we could do is shorten up the sub notes when that thing comes in. You know oh, what I mean? Okay, you mean put in bells or just put it in? No, just put it in the in the groove. Just give it a slide chain, my dude. You know what I'm saying though? Like if if during that section where those things were happening, if the sub was really short and just... right no, 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 okay. where you were. Yeah. Instead of having the bass be rolly, have it be like almost like just short and like on the kick, so that you were giving room for that thing. You know what I'm saying? You want to do that with the MIDI, or you want to do that with? I don't know. You figure it out. You're gonna have to do that for every. You zoomed in. Yeah. No. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That? Zooming in and out. Yeah. That already gives it more of a groove in that section, and now you can turn that little percussion thing up. I want to make it low too. One, two. Jeez, there's so much reverb. Bit. 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 Does that sound kind of weird? Definitely doesn't sound as good or as bad as it did before, but I think you should like. I think it's cool that it goes from rolly to like. Yeah, but I think it needs to go like. Uh, 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 uh. So it's like. Or it could just be the same note the whole time. Yeah, something like that. And then, and then probably at the end of that, yeah, you need to take everything out. What are you Mick trying to do? You oh. Sorry, not the top. You're trying to do, yeah, there you go. You don't want to turn it on to complex? Hmm? You don't want to turn it on to complex? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Now you can actually hear the notes. There's so many effects. I feel like here would be a good time to add just like a, another set of rides or hats. 
it's like already got an open hat though sort of yeah i wouldn't even worry about the drums there's i think i think what really needs to happen is we need to clean up the bases because there's still so many bases going on in this part Is Jonah still here? Because I haven't seen him in the chat for a minute. Huh? I said I haven't seen Jonah in the chat for a hot minute. I know, it's like 6 a.m. now. Wait, see. Oh, yeah, that's true. He also probably killed himself after this. He's like, okay, fine. You guys think I did too much? He's here. He's sitting there taking notes. Okay. Yeah. Notes number one. You're doing great. Yeah. Here, pause it. Pause it, yeah. Um, you obviously know how to produce. Yeah. You're just trying to do too much. You're trying to use all these techniques that you think are going to make your song sound good, but you're actually just making your life way more difficult. If you strip this down to like 10% of what it is right now, you would have a great song. Yeah. Definitely. And that's essentially what we're trying to do. I mean, it's good like to be this complex at a certain point because then you start to see, like having too much going on and paring it down is much better than not knowing what to bring. Yeah, this is like a, it's like a curve in the, the bell of learning how to produce music where like you start learning all these techniques and like you start trying to use them all because you're like, well, I'm learning them. I might as well use them. Um, and, but then, and like this happened to me for like years and I'm sure it happened to Garrett too, but like you start trying to add too much, you start trying to do too much and like your processing chains end up being this like garbled mess of like you don't even know what to turn off anymore to make it sound better like the fact that there's like 80 effects channels and like 80 vocal channels and like 20 basses and 30 drums there are literally 30 effects effects yeah like, like sometimes it's like four. most of the time i have like five effects channels yeah. if that like, so just knowing what to keep and what stick out yeah and even just taking out that one bass sound now it has like a cool like techy groove to it yeah. kind of you know and you can start to mess with that sound and make it more interesting like not the sound itself but like giving it more of like a wobble every here and there and like changing the syncopation like that'll just make the groove that you tried to make with other effects like this stuff like the thing we deleted wherever it went It'll make it the same level of dynamics, but it'll be easier to follow as an audio. Yeah, and it's like, there's like this this djembe in here that you're not even hearing because there's that other crazy tom in there. So it's like starting to make decisions like that. Like, okay, well this sound you're not even hearing, so there's no reason to have it. Or I really like this one, so this should be what you're hearing, so I'm gonna take out something else. Um. Or like this one we took out, like you're not missing it. It was probably just complicating things and like it was playing notes that the bass wasn't playing. So it was probably making things kind of dissonant in a not so pleasant way. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think the idea is cool. And you, like I said, you definitely know what you're doing because this looks way more complex than any project I make nowadays. But that's also kind of like what you need to do when you're like trying to get really good at making music is like take everything you know and simplify it and make it as easy for you to make good music as possible because all that really matters is the idea like i would rather get a song that's a super sick idea that sounds like crap than a so so idea that sounds really well mixed and getting submissions uh, and demos for the label for people who want to release on Bite This, I get both of those all the time. And I'll tell you nine times out of 10, the ones that I really gravitate towards are the ones that I hear and I'm like, this idea is so sick. It's just, it doesn't sound 100% of the way there. As opposed to, well, this song is mixed incredible, but like, I don't hear that like it factor yeah, in the song. It's like something that's like too sugary. Like yeah, yeah, that's I mean, something I learned at Icon, you know? With that uh, one try MK, that one get right through, get right through, what's it, like, 
Hey, don't talk to me. Me now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, one of the uh, best. Uh, look right through. Look right through. One of the yeah. best house records ever. Handed yeah, handed or or perfect. house house every weekend. Yeah, is like four the days. simplest like not mixed well like it's impossible to play in a feel set the volume. yeah feel like the garbage. volume sounds like trash garrett always talks about that how yeah, horrible but it, it sounds it's a hit that was the you know that's a big record yeah um you talk about how bad that is. i mean honestly jonah we could go through this for hours and keep paring down your stuff but i feel like we've done enough to set you on a course to be able to like really take it and run with it and kill it and I want you to send it back to me, and I want to see what you've done, and then maybe I'll do another demo roulette with it again, where, like, when it's in a point where it's, like, all pared down, like, I want to see you go and, like, take out, like, 30 of the tracks in here and really focus on, like, okay, this is, like, the baseline. This is what I want to focus on. Take out all the other sounds. I would rather hear this song again, like, so basic. And then I could be like, cool, now we take it to the next level. Yeah, and don't be afraid to delete everything. Yeah, Not I mean, you, you saw like... what we did with to the last project. We deleted entire tracks. We did, deleted entire parts of the arrangement, moved it around. Because, like, that's the kind of level of commitment you have to have when you're making music. Just like, yeah, that was a cool idea I had, but it actually doesn't make sense for the song as a whole. So, like, let's just get rid of it and move on. And I think the more that you produce, the more records that you make, the more you'll start to know what those important things are and what you're like, oh man, I just really like that sound. It never fit, but I really like it. You'll start to know what yeah. it is that you and want. If to you're, and if you're so sold on something, then put it in your Ableton user library and label it like, you know, drum loop for a new song or like bass sound for a new song or whatever. <laughs> and like, I do that all the time. Stormy wants us to move on. No, I think he's saying that like, you move on from the idea that you're stuck to. Stormy, are you being mean or nice? It's Stormy. Has he ever been mean? No, he doesn't know how. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> Sam is right, <laughs> <Okay>. as, <laughs> as always. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's a wrap. Jonah, thank you for sending your project. Um, it's cool to see you. I, I actually remember talking to you in switzerland and you're saying that you were a producer and whatever so it's cool to see your face again and get to see you know what you're doing um and uh yeah like i said tomorrow i'm gonna pack up every single project i've done for demo roulette so far and send them out to all of you guys um i really want all of you to um work on the projects and send them back to me because i really want to see how you progress and then maybe i'll do like follow-up uh, a follow-up edition of, of Demo Roulette where I go through all the projects that people have done um, and give you guys a little bit more feedback and guidance or whatever. Um, but yeah, shout out to Garrett for sticking around even though I was talking crap to him the whole time. I liked it. I deserve shout it. out Mark. Shark Squad Worldwide. Shout out to the whole Bite This Discord. Shout out to everyone who's uh, donated bits, who's, uh, you know... Uh, subscribe to the channel who's been paying attention who's been watching who's been active in the chat um i'll see you guys next week hey guys thanks for having me and that boom and we out goodbye